What's up, guys? This is Tuesday morning. I'm recording this for every class, so it's not about specifics. It's about the general plan and what we're going to do at the time we have. I'm going to click on one class just to show an example. A few weeks ago, maybe one or two, I posted this right here, October 30th. In every class, I posted this doc that has the dates. And even though we might have different types of days now, it's the same dates doing the same stuff. So let's take a quick gander here. I like that word, gander. We have the week we just completed, which was e-learning, and the week we're in, which is now e-learning. But it doesn't matter. We're going to do the same stuff on the same days. Then we have next week, which is open. We're not sure. We might have e-learning again. Certainly, uh, the number of cases in the area are high in general, but in school, a lot of people were being quarantined, especially um, teachers were being quarantined, and that's no good. So uh, we'll do whatever's safe. By the way, this week is a full week, and every single due date that I have and that most teachers have is on this day or before. So Friday, November 20th, I uh, want to finish all our big stuff before then because after that we've got some more e-learning but it's not a full week it's holidays people might be traveling people might be out of reach <sighs> doing stuff at that time is going to be bad news so if we finish on this week whether it's e-learning or not then we can use this time for makeups retakes grades sharing what you made awesome Lots of cushion, lots of time to get those semester grades, which are the ones that really count, locked in as we want them. Okay, if you turn something out on December 3rd, disaster. I won't have time to grade it. You won't have time to fix it. You won't know what your grade's going to be until it's too late. Do not do that. I'm warning you now. Come on. So every class has their assignments. I'm not going to post any new stuff on Google Classroom unless it's just the next step of a project. So we're not starting a new unit. We're not starting a new concept. I'm not teaching new stuff. I'm just going to say, oh, you're working on a slideshow. And now it becomes a presentation. Or you got a first draft of something. Now it becomes a second draft. Everything I'm posting, if I'm posting anything at all, is the next step, usually the final step of what you're working on. For example, uh, creative writing is doing a story, they're doing a plan, and then the final thing is to actually write it in the draft. Uh, computer science too, uh, we're making a pong game where you have a paddle and a ball. They're making the basic template following an example, and then they have one more step, which is to add something unique, like a computer player or another ball or something like that. Turn it in this week, you'll be great. And then if I have to send it back for edits, we have time. If I have to take a while to grade it, we have time. If we want to share it, like if you make a presentation, we can share it during this time. Great. Anyway, let's talk about what we're going to actually do each day. So this quarter, I have been on this routine of doing a one live lesson per week. I've been doing it on YouTube, and I'm going to continue that because whenever I say a plan, I want to stick to it. I don't want to change and have people uh, confused about where to look. So uh, it's going to be Wednesday and Thursday here, and again, Wednesday and Thursday here. I'm going to do a live lesson on YouTube just the same as I have been in the playlists. You should be able to find it. And if you don't watch it at the time, you can watch it later. Same link, same playlist everything. These are not going to be new lessons introducing new things. These are going to be more like a recap or a list of tips. Like in, uh, in computer science 2, there are some errors that everybody's getting, the same errors or the same mistakes. And I'm saying, oh, here's a thing a lot of people are seeing, and here's how to fix it. Or here's an error a lot of people are getting, and here's why. So these videos are not new lessons. They are tips, tricks, recap, reminders. However, every other day, like today and Friday and these two and this one, I'm going to be 
doing basically office hours. Okay, we here we have this idea of office hours like once a week where you can uh, jump in a chat and ask questions. And I'm going to be doing that every period, every day. So computer science one, they have this link in the header. You click it during your time and I'll be there at the beginning of class, like 20 minutes ish at the beginning of each class. Um, you know, if we were in another one, they have a different link. So you can't jump in every, you know, at any time you can't jump in creative writing, uh, on a B day, I'll just be there during your class. So this one is third period, I'll be there on A days at 9.15 to 9.30ish and so on. If you miss that, it's fine. You can ask me a question through email or through Google Classroom comment or a comment on your doc. Whatever you're doing is totally fine, but I wanna have absolutely everything we can, no excuses. If you miss something, there are ways to get caught up, okay? So let's talk about grades. I am a little worried that I'm gonna have to put in Fs at the end, and that's no fun. So I'm gonna put in some grades earlier in order to give you lots of time and nobody's gonna be surprised at the end when the grade goes down. I'm gonna put in some grades now, uh, like today and tomorrow, for the earlier steps of the projects. And if you have an F, that means you need to do it and get caught up before the final step. I'm also going to just look at every individual piece and say like, hey, good job, you got this part, now let's do this one next. Or hey, this part's messed up, you need to do this to fix it. Or hey, you're missing this one criteria from step one. Um, for some people, I've been making like individual videos, like pull up the thing on the screen and highlight what to do. Others, it's just comments. Other, if you email me, I'll respond with that. But again, if you've got something, you know, you're in the middle of a project and you're doing the next step, you're gonna be fine. Okay, the people I'm worried about are the ones that have nothing and I really gotta contact them. We've been doing conferences with parents, but I can keep doing that, keep calling home or whatever, but man, we got lots of time. Okay, we have a whole week here, a whole week here to fin finish our projects and then a little bit of time to fix, resubmit, grade, all of that. Absolutely no rush to finish, but there is a rush to start if you haven't, okay? Quick recap, I'll be on a Google Meet every day, except the ones where it's an official live lesson on YouTube, which is the same as it has been. I'm gonna do Wednesday and Thursday, and then again. And these official lessons will be recap and tricks and tips, not new things, because we're not starting new things. Uh, we're at the end, uh, Doctor Strange, we're in the end game now, and that's it. If you log on each day, do a little bit, ask for help, get help, watch the video, ask a question, you will be fine. I am absolutely um, just encouraged by seeing people submit something, get an edit, fix it, do the next part. You're going to be great. Uh, if you haven't done that, if you haven't like gotten into a project, Now's the time. Okay, in most classes I've posted a recap. Let's see, there's a good one in here. In most classes I recently posted a recap type announcement with links to all the stuff you need. And if you don't see that, email me. All right, let's begin.